Juan Sebastian Veron is the player in focus in today's video. We are going to be reviewing the 88 rated mid icon version of him. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So this is the team we're going to be using the Argentinian in 4-3-2-1 in game. Hopefully going to score plenty of counter attack goals because that's pretty much what this formation is designed for. So let's have a look at this card. Four star weak foot. Pretty nice on a midfielder. Medium, medium wear crates. I don't really mind on a centre mid, to be honest. They are absolutely fine. I either want medium, medium or high, high on a centre mid, to be honest. Especially one as well-rounded as Veron. No player traits to really discuss, so let's move on straight into the attributes. You can pretty much see why I've chosen the Shadow Chem style just by looking at his card. It just makes him so, so well rounded and also gives him a very nice boost in the pace department and as we all know pace is very important in FIFA. Big fan of the shot power and long shots hopefully we can score a goal from distance. The passing department also looks really solid. 90 shot passing, 89 long passing, very very nice. Dribbling for the most part also looks very good aside from the agility and balance and defensively it's good to see that his interception ratings is relatively high and um, hopefully the uh, chem style will also help out with that because uh, that's probably what he's going to be doing the most in regards to defensive work. And then finally physically, um, good stamina and a good strength and aggression as well so hopefully we'll fight for the ball a lot and hopefully won't tire too much in matches. So into game number one we go, we have Veron in the side and he's going to be up against fellow Argentinian players in the form of Dabala and Inform Messi and on the other side my opponent's also got an icon on Ordinia. yeah this game could be a could be a tough one I mean if his team wasn't good enough already he's just subbed on Son as well you got to calm down kid this isn't foot champs we're on goes for the long ball over the top and I tell you what that's a pretty good pass into the feet of Bamba who's gonna shoot first time and he's gonna score as well what a start time to turn defense into attack here hopefully I should have rebelled there when Mbappe first made the break Still on the second break. Can we get through? Because Mbappe is an absolute monster. Oh, have I done too much? I have. I've gone way too wide there. However, there is a chance for Veron to get a goal. We created the space for the Argentinian. And um, this is pretty much a dream debut for a centre mid. In the first 14 minutes, he's, he's got not just an assist, but also a goal as well. I mean, fair enough, it was put on a plate for him. But you've got to be in the right place at the right time to take those chances. And he was in that moment. Ron out wide on the wing now has a chance to put the ball into the box. That's not a bad ball, you know, and Mbappe has got on the end of it. And just like that, it's all square again once... What in this... What is going on? I can't speak English. Well, that half was certainly something. We raced into a 2-0 lead and then it was 2-2 and then it was 3-2 to my opponent and then we brought it back to 3-3 just before the break. Um... Yeah, interesting affairs 45. Uh, Veron in attack has been pretty effective, to be honest. Got himself a goal and two assists, which is pretty mad. But um, defensively, he hasn't really done much, if anything at all. So, uh, yeah, hopefully um, he can get involved helping out in defence in the second half because I think we're going to need it because it's just one of them games where goals are going in everywhere. Chance as Veron's put the ball in behind for Bamba. Bamba, oh, I went way too late there. That was a good ball by Veron and I messed up the attack by not going early enough. Win that. Oh, good header. Keeps possession in the dying minutes of this game as we try and push on to get another goal. Nice pass out wide, two to Bamba. Bamba finds Mbappe, Mbappe finds some space and oh, we've hit the post. Eventually, the referee blows for full time and we get ourselves a 4 3 victory. So, uh,. Quite an interesting, what, that wasn't even English. Quite an interesting, is what I was trying to say, debut for Veron. Um, one goal and two assists, and a really good opening display, but other than that, honestly, he didn't really do too much. So, um, obviously, it's great that he's been amongst the goals, but um, as a centre mid, I wouldn't say it was a complete performance. I wonder if we'll see a more well-rounded performance from the Argentinian in the next matchup. Um, as you can see, very good side featuring mainly Premier League players but also some from the La Liga. What a block that is from Hector Bellerin. And now Veron has a chance. Oh, is Mbappe on side? I hope he is. Oh, he's not. That's unfortunate because uh could have been in there. Veron tracking back now. Tracking back and then shepherding the ball off Son, but ultimately the ball bounces to Suzuka. There we go, nice bit of play. Gets the ball out wide to Bamba, who can now bring us forward. And there's a lot of space as well to work with. Bamba into the box. I don't think he's going short. I don't believe he's going short. I knew it. Veron clears the ball. 
Thomas Party is just an absolute monster. And Varon's actually done... I was going to say Ravworld's come away with the ball there, but then he tripped over. Mbappe finds Varon. He puts through a nice through ball in behind for Bamba to chase. Can he get on the end of it? No, Kunde just beats him to it. But Bamba's just then just nabbed the ball, put it across the box, and Pepe has a chance, but it's a good save from Lloris. And then after that, my opponent quits at 1-0. Really? That was an even game. Like, I wasn't even dominating in that and he's quit. I really do not understand that at all. Look at the stats. Like, it wasn't as if I was, like, dominating or anything. It was just really, really tight. Strange. Anyway, let's move on into another matchup. Game number three sees us match up against this. It's a pretty nice hybrid. La Liga and League Unthemed. And also Syria as well. Um, the Bauer is, is in the starting uh, striker spot. And um, honestly, I think the Bauer is so underrated this year. He is so cheap for what he can do. On the inside, two... We're on. Mbappe has opened up and Mbappe will get round his man. Oh, no, he will not because Felon Mendy is just absolutely broken in this game. There's a chance for the Argentinian to get forward. Oh, he tried to lift the ball through to Mbappe and in the end he's actually headed it through. This is pretty wild. Would have been a great goal had we scored off that, but wasn't to be apparently. There we go. Stretch them legs. Actually do some defending. Nice for on. Closing down. Maybe now we can counter. actually on side here. I've actually scored off that. I don't know why. My mind went completely blank there because I thought Mbappe was offside, but uh, we played on and we got the goal. One last chance maybe before the break. Veron gets the ball into Mbappe. And here's a chance. It's Sebastian Veron of all people trying to run through there, but sadly he isn't going to be beating the pace of Fell and Mendy anytime soon. So we're at the break. We are 3-2 down, which isn't ideal, but it's definitely a lot better than being 3-0 down, which we were at one point in this game. Ron has a chance to slide it in. He does exactly that. Here's Bamba. Through on goal. Gets the shot away. Good save from Oblak. Ron puts the ball through for Mbappe, who's got still a bunch of work to do, but he might actually come away with a goal here. Oh, and he should have. Yeah, finds Ron. Ron. Chips the ball through for Bamba. Can he make it five? No. Good save from Oblak. Veron now finds some space. Him and Mbappe link up nicely. And then he puts the ball through for Mane. Oh, I've gone for the chip too early there and I've absolutely messed it up as well. Nice distribution from the Argentinian though. And there is full time. We win this game 5-4 after going down three goals to nil. We brought it back. And, uh, yeah, happy days. Happy, happy days. No goals or assists from Veron, but to be honest, that was probably his best performance out the lot as a centre mid. It was a more well-rounded performance, and he helped out a bit more defensively in that game. Okay, so after a few more outings with the Argentinian midfielder in the team, what's the verdict on the card? Well, first of all, let me make a comment. If you're looking for a centre mid, then perfect. You might have found a good option here. But if you're looking for someone to play Cam or DM, look elsewhere. Because using this card there would be a waste in my opinion. There are far better cams available in the game and there are far better DMs. This card is suited to that centre mid role, not the other two. I don't think defensively he's solid enough to play DM. And I don't think his dribbling is good enough to play Cam. So uh, I feel like you'd be wasting him in at those roles. But um, yeah, hopefully once I break the stats down a bit more, you guys will understand the reasoning behind that. Let's begin with the best thing about this card. For me, that's the passing. His distribution was absolutely brilliant for me. I like the short pass and the link-up play, and the long pass and through balls were great as well. He's a player who can certainly distribute from deep and also join up. Uh, join in with link up play when attacking so really really happy with that and with him having the four star weak foot he can go off of either foot too which is really really nice his shooting was also to a good standard the shot power is pretty insane he has some very powerful strikes finishing is pretty average but um he's not a striker so uh we expected that to be fair his finishing is actually all right for a mid so uh yeah there is that Positionally, when going forward, um, he's very good, but when defending, he, um, he he seems to disappear a bit, so that was a, a bit worrying. Like, seriously, if, if Party wasn't there on some occasions, um, there could have been some problems, and it's quite annoying to be honest, because his, his defending actually isn't that bad. Um, he makes plenty of intercepts, and uh, his stand tackling is to a good standard, and he's got good strength and aggression to knock people off the ball. But positionally, he just likes to sit in midfield and just, you know, sit in midfield. So, uh, 
yeah, he seems to be quite a, a lazy uh, midfielder when it comes to defending, which is uh, unfortunate because uh, when he gets involved, he actually can defend rather well, but it's just getting him involved. You've got to do quite a bit of work with him. Pace-wise, um, he's quick for a mid, not super rapid or anything, and obviously the shadow chem style helped, but um, yeah, quick for a mid is probably how I would describe him. And now we come on to the dribbling stats, which... Agility and balance does let him down, but I think we knew that from just looking at the stats. Also, he's a tallish player, so that comes into play as well. But he's actually got really nice ball control, and he's got a very good first touch as well. And even when under pressure, he can control the ball nicely, which is great. And uh, finally, physically, like the stamina, didn't seem to tie too much for me, which is good. And also, that strength and aggression is very nice as well. That also the ball really nicely and protects it rather well too. And we touched on that earlier in the video. So all in all, a pretty solid uh, centre mid item, to be honest. And as I say, it will do a good job for you if you use him in that role. But if you want a DM, if you want a cam, honestly, look elsewhere. Because uh, you'd be wasting your coins on this card. Because there are so many better options for those positions. And I think I've said that three times in this video now. So it's probably time to wrap this one up. So, uh... Uh, yeah, centre mid or bust with this card, and uh, we're going to end the video right there. So if you could leave a like rating on it, that would be very much appreciated. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.